In previous videos we installed VirtualBox and we installed the VirtualBox extension pack. If we go into extensions we have this VirtualBox extension pack. And in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on your VirtualBox. To do this open a browser and in search type in Windows 10 download. Here you will see that Microsoft official website Microsoft.com don't download this image file from anywhere else. So click on download Windows 10 disk image. And here scroll down until you will see this create Windows 10 installation media. Click on download now. And we will download this file to our downloads directory. Once this file is downloaded, this will be executable file. Let's open any folder and go into your downloads directory. And you will see this media creation tool. Double click on it. And it will start with telling us that getting few things ready. And it will prompt us with Microsoft software license terms which we will need to accept. Accept here. And here in this screen what do you want to do? We don't need to upgrade this PC. But we will be creating ISO file. So we need to select this second option and click on next. And here click on next again. And in this pop-up choose which media to use we also need to select ISO file as we want to create ISO file and click on next. And then we need to select where we want to download this ISO file. I will be downloading it also in my downloads directory so I will select downloads and click on save. And this ISO file download will start and we will need this ISO file to create our Windows 10 on our virtual box later. So as if you are creating a bootable USB drive to install Windows 10 from from USB you will be also able to use this ISO file in future. So as in future videos I am going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows or for example to install Kali Linux or Ubuntu Linux. And once this Windows 10 ISO file has been created and downloaded click here on finish. And in your downloads folder you will see this Windows 10 file which is ISO as you can see type disk image file. And next let's close this downloads and let's close this browser as we don't need it anymore. And then go into your Oracle Virtual Machine Manager. And from here we will need to create a new machine. And here you see at the very top there is this new. Just click on it and it will open this window. In first field you type in name. I will type in there Windows 10. You can type or call this however you want. I will leave this default folder as it is and here there where it says ISO image you need to select that image which we just downloaded. Click on this arrow down and here where it says other just click on it and go to your downloads directory and select this Windows file and click on open. This is ISO image from which you will be installing Windows 10 on this virtual machine. And where it says type you select Windows and when it says version, you select Windows 10 64 bit. And here select skip unattended installation and click on hardware tab. And in hardware here you need to select how much memory and how much CPU cores you want to dedicate for this virtual machine. Here in base memory, here I will choose about 10 GB of RAM. And here where it says processors I will choose 4 CPUs. And then I will click on hard disk tab. And here I need to select how much storage I want to dedicate. I will move it to 30 GB. This will be more than enough storage for this VM. And here hard disk file type and variation. I will leave as VDI VirtualBox disk image as it is. And here we don't use an existing virtual hard disk file or we do not add virtual disk. And then we click on finish. And this Windows 10 VM is created as you can see here on the left hand side. Once we have installed Windows 10, if you select it, you can see here on this window more information about it. But if in future you would like to change any settings about this installation, you click on this operating system which you have installed because in future you might have installed more than one operating system. What we will be doing next, we will be also installing Kali Linux and Ubuntu, which I will be showing you in next videos. But you select the operating system and then you click here on settings and here in settings tab if you click here on left hand side you can see settings which you can change or which you can edit for this virtual machine operating system. Now we will finish installation of our windows because currently we just have set it up so double click on this operating system or with this windows 10 and it will start it. Here in the right hand side in right top corner you can close this down and here you can proceed with installation 
installation of your Windows where it says Windows United States. There you select language where it says time and currency format. I will select Ireland keyboard or input method select your keyboard input method i will select the uk and click on next and click on install now here we, where it's prompting for product key here at the very bottom select i don't have a product key and here select windows you are intending to install i will be installing windows 10 home you can select any other version and click on next and here accept the license terms and click on next on this window select custom install windows only and in this window just make sure you select this drive we just created and click on next and now as you can see it's installing windows now once windows 10 installation is done we need to finish setting it up so select country click on yes here you select your keyboard and click yes again here click skip or if you want to add the second keyboard you can do so and here where it says who is going to use this pc you give a username and click next type a password and click next again confirm password and hit next again here we need to select the security questions type in these questions and hit next here select not now or if you want you can import from other browsers click next to use your location you can select yes and click accept find my device you can also select this if you want i will select no accept here i will select send required diagnostic data only required and click accept here i will say no and click accept here i will say no and click accept no and click accept here i will say skip we are getting everything ready for you and once this installation is done let's close down this and here you go guys we have installed windows 10 on our virtual box and this windows works exactly the same as normal windows would work if you click on start this would be your windows 10 installation and this is like your second operating system installed on your computer as by default i am using windows 11 if we go into my system, you can see that my original operating system is Windows 11. As you can see, Windows 11 Home. But if we go here, and if we go into set, if to see into the system, you will see that this is Windows 10. As you can see, this is another operating system installed here on my computer. And in next videos, we will be also installing Kali Linux and we will be also installing Ubuntu. And now if we close down, we can see here that we have a power off the machine. We can power off it like that or we can power off it at that state. For example, if we have opened some browsers or we have been working on some files, we can select the save machine state. This will save it at that state and whenever you will be opening up it next time, it will open it exactly where you left off. So let's click OK and here you have Windows 10 operating system installed on your virtual box.